Hello and welcome to this video. Today we are taking a look at a game between Stockfish and Pudim. Pudim. Oh, the lady's taking a little while to do their thing there. Not too bad though. I like that placement. Maybe a bit close to these berries, but no big problem. Never really be too close to them. Both pump popping out six. Two ladies on berries. Baskets. Ladies going to wood. Standard start. Put him housed? No, he will be soon though. No, he's okay. No one getting housed early, so that's good. Apparently that is the... Uh, The way to the words to use to describe that situation. I say pop cap, but I've noticed people saying housed. So, nope, didn't like that one apparently. Nine ladies, I like that. Yes, yeah, Very nice. Okay, good. Good starts. Stockfish focusing entirely on unit production. Yeah, Going straight to two at 30 pop. What is this? What are you doing? What is this strategy? What? Why do you need to be level two now? This is some kind of rush. Stockfish will build something now. There it is, the tavern. Okay. Right. Okay. So, a fanatic rush. Only reason you'd go to level 2 that early. There's no other... <laughs> there's no other good reason, really. Whereas, put in playing a standard, regular, everyday kind of strategy. This had better work. Because if it doesn't, this is a lot of uh, resources put into making a few fanatics. What are they each? 150 metal each? Yeah, you're going to have to put everyone on metal now. What? Alright, interesting. You're going to have to keep expanding too. See how that works. Put him running away on uh, population and resources now. To be expected. Four fanatics. Where's the other ones? Over here. 
They had better be useful. Okay. Um, hmm. <laughs> so that didn't work. Um, Pudum was already way too big. Had too many units. Still has the six skirmishes. Has managed to take out quite a few enemies. about right. I like uh, Buddha's use of territory expansion. So he needs to be able to use these to um, larger in population than put him before about the 12 13 minute mark, and then it's okay. Which, oh dear, taking out all these ladies will help. Uh, um, okay, so the raid is looking okay. Bit of dancing there, but we'll, we'll allow it. Skirmishes. Or put him. Putting a lot of resources into low tier units. These definitely need to be. There goes that six wood. Um, not a big deal, but I usually try to empty into a storehouse before I go to a different resource. Or so farmstead, depending on which one it is. Still 12 behind. Nothing in the way of upgrades. Skirmishes being a nuisance still.
Yes, uh, Stockfish yet to reach over to his second oh, and third berry patch. So is there another berry patch for Pudim also? Or was it already taken? Maybe a little further out? No. It's convenient that camera, I can, <laughs> I can take my hand and both hands off keyboard and mouse for a little while and have a drink then come back and the video was still entertaining although a little bit stopped moving around so fast down to eight behind now seven not so bad Look at this coming in and out, just being a nuisance in general. What he wants another one of these, or actually the uh, the next one up, the fence tower, but yet to reach town phase. This is about the time where you start thinking about town phase. If he, if he doesn't tick up to town phase right now, I'll be very, very surprised. <laughs> you see? I've, I've, this isn't the first Zero AD game I've seen, alright? I know <laughs> roughly what happens and when it happens. Okay. Right. Will we see any upgrades come out as soon? Like maybe Stronger Axe right now? <laughs> That's what I'd do. He can afford it too. No, not now. What's they do? What put him do? Heal or something? This is such a nuisance. Highly effective. Stockfish ahead and it's before 13 minutes. <sighs> Stockfish may be ahead <laughs> in this game. Interesting. Yeah, I think Stockfish might have this. Established a decent base now. Market, temple. Probably a barracks will be coming out quite soon. Yep, there it is. What was that? Ah. Upgrading, upgrading. And there they are. Axe and iron plow. Hmm. Looking for a phase three game. And he's oh, already a bit behind on phase two. Mm. Probably could switch up the strategy at that point and just pop down three barracks and start making. Uh, what is the goal barracks unit that you make? Oh, slingers. Yeah. Mass slingers. 
That would be the way to go. And then a blacksmith. Get uh, slinger armor and slinger shoot power. Shoot power up. Straight up just destroys it. Wow, interesting. <laughs> Probably a good call. Still, ooh, that's that's pretty hectic. There is no way that Stockfish can take this. <laughs> this isn't going to happen. It's full. It's full of five people. Did you not see the five people go in there, Stockfish? You're not going to get it. It's not, it's, it's not happening today. <laughs> Switch strats. Yeah, here's the other thing. That's going to take about four minutes. <laughs> So, yeah, whatever, I guess. Nope, just, okay, do something else. Good idea, good plan. I agree with this. So, hmm. No iron axe heads, no iron blow, no upgrades to speak of. Just raiding and units. More, more, more units, units, units. Now switching to just regular. Don't really want fanatics anymore. It's still probably useful for about the next five minutes. I'd almost want to just get rid of them. Just put them into an all-out battle against the, the enemy and uh, let them take out as many as they can and until they are all gone <laughs> and start building better things like slingers why are you still building spearmen you build spearmen here you should be able to build the cool thing that you can't build over there cavalry swordsmen are good Upgrades? No. Starkfish. Put him. You've got a this right here. It's literally you could move just a little bit. Move into this circle. Put him here. Why are you here? You'll probably still be fine because you outnumber. But, hmm. Put him, Cav Swordsman. Yeah, Cav Swordsman are good. Especially against all these <laughs> tier 1 units. Bunch of skirmishes. So another barracks coming up. Stockfish just being a nuisance with the units. Oh, has some had some cav swordsmen there. Ooh. A bad retreat for Stockfish. This is a bad retreat. Something that just... Mm, 
I didn't lose any, really. But I think lost out in total there. Population now, even. Stockfish able to destroy nearly twice as many units, but still only barely ahead in population, and only just now when uh, I guess eight or something came out of a barracks. Ladies just checking out the farmstead, making sure that it's okay. Is the farmstead alright? Yeah, it is. Okay. Just keep standing here and watching, though. In case the sheep, um, come and try to eat the wheat. Or the goats. These things will run wild all over your farm, if you don't watch. Wait, what was that? Put him 20. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, they all just popped out, did they? Yeah. And eight of that. Ten of those. Whoa. So put him is about to have a population advantage. Because this amount is not as large of an amount. Yeah. Neither player looking for three this game. Look at all this. <laughs> Look at all this. What's this? What are what are these even? What are what are these even? What are they for? I mean, you know, you've only got what is it? How much? Many resources do you have? Ah, uh, you could easily buy that. In five seconds, you could buy that if you had if you hadn't spent that wood. Oh, really? Tier one upgrades this far into the game? Nah, no, 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 no. Like maybe those tier two upgrades where it's quite a bit more expensive. Like maybe, yeah, don't bother with those. Maybe unless you're really getting right deep into the game. It's 22 minutes in, Stockfish, bros. Spend 200 food. You've got so much food. Well, I actually put them. It's got even more food. Bartering. Stockfish, what are you spending? Spending more ladies? How many ladies do you want? You've got 70. If you spend that food here, then you can pop like a billion slingers out. Oh, dude. <laughs> Been playing really well and can play better than me, but when I've got this bird's eye view like this it's uh it's a little different put him though at the moment having trouble spending resources in general like you don't really want yeah, sharp axe heads is not something that you want that's a thousand that's ridiculous like you could buy so many silliness <laughs> So many slingers with that. Maybe, meh, don't worry about it. But this one, 200 food and 50 metal? Put them. Buy it now. Buy it immediately. And this one. Yeah, maybe not baskets, whatever. But these two in the middle? Yes. The first three tier one upgrades, always get them. Regardless. I, I just, just get them. No excuses. Oh, but I wanted to make a million slingers. It's like, yeah, well, good on you. That's probably better, actually. Okay, go on. Make your 47-odd bugger and 20-odd... Is that an I or an L? Yeah, yeah, I'll say. I don't, I don't. It's pronounced in a way. These slingers, that range, you see. Compared to the skirmishers, slingers will always win. Skirmishers won't will be out of range still running while the slingers are already shooting.
Actually, need to re enable this just so we get a proper idea of what's happening. These are almost together. If one player. Ah! Stockfish at three now. When did that happen? Just recently. Oh, well, they're both at three. Ah. Oh. Well, they happened within a minute of each other. Whoa, put him. Getting right into it. Nice. Each have destroyed one building now, or have caused their opponent to forfeit one. This can be taken over. If he gets a surround off on it, it doesn't even bother. Okay. If he had that fully surrounded, he could have taken it. Oh, fortress. If, um, well, yeah, fortress too. Don't know why it's over here. Very much wants to protect the civic center, I guess. You shouldn't really need to be building anything out, out of the civic center anymore. So just completely surround it with houses. Completely. How much would it cost? What, how much is a house each? 75. That's nothing. We've got something else over here too. Two ladies there. Here's, here's, those, here's those 20 odd ladies that he absolutely needed to, to get instead of buying that one upgrade. Like, come on. What are they doing for you? They're not really useful, are they? They're just standing there. Oh, look at this! Yes, yes, he sees, he knows. <laughs> Good. Oh. <laughs> the reaction plays. Stockfish and put them both playing top notch here in this match. Like, I'm pointing out little things, but one can only do so much. Like, this follow player thing doesn't show all the actions per minute. It doesn't show all the actions. It shows some. Some things it just doesn't. Like, just general movement of the camera around. Put him able to sneak a Rax. Yo, put him, is put him coming back? What is happening? Well ahead in population. When I saw all those units. In production, that's... And I thought something might be up. Something is indeed up, but... Hmm. What can be done with this? Oh, more rams. I like that. <laughs> These actually are literally connected now. That's very funny. Who owned that first? What? How does the... Oh... I think that was probably put in first. <laughs> okay. So we've got one ram. The other ram up here. Okay. Take everything down, man. Go all in. If he went all in right now, he'd be fine. Just split and take everything around. He's got most of his units over here. If he keeps up with this, and then look, because now he's only just garrisoning units inside this fortress. There is a potential universe where he didn't realise that you heard guys coming in around this mountain. Look at them. Look at them all. What are they doing? Where are they going? No, this is the wrong direction. Taking out that. Very good, very good. Maybe stop and take one of these along the way? Grab a house. Grab this house. Doesn't want the house. 
This is very strange. Not really committing to doing anything in particular. Doing a little bit of one thing and then just go, going over and doing that. Indecision. I'm seeing, seeing some indecision here. Some hesitation. Nice clearing a path for the rams right in through to the CC, but then retreating them. They were right there. They were right there next to the CC. What were they going to get shot by arrows? To, to look, he's got nothing. He's got no cav. Take your CC. Take your battering rams and hit his CC with them. What are you doing, man? What is he going to do about it? He's got no cav. He's got none. He can't destroy your... This plus those two? This, this, dude, commit, commit to something. You keep going back and forward. Ah, oh, no, 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 what's this? This is losing you the game. You were winning. Still are winning. This is coming in there too. I don't know why this doesn't go straight here. It's going all the way around here. Go straight to the fortress. It's empty. It's completely empty. Oh no, he's going to the CC. No, he's not. No, he's not. He's, not. he's changed his mind again. Indecision. Stop changing your mind. What is he even actually doing? I'm saying an enemy one. Ha ha ha. What is happening right now? Yes. Look at this cav. <laughs> Stockfish does have one cav, in fact. Just back here, just tearing shreds out of, <laughs> out of Putin's home base. Oh, nice. Got the hero come out. What are these? What have these units been doing this whole time? I swear they've just gone back and forward in this in this little box. Wait, no, this little box. They've just gone back and forward. All right. Okay, taking some buildings now. That's good. That's something. No, not not taking buildings. Deciding to fight. Okay, fight then. This is a very good fight for uh, Putum here. Perhaps uh, finding some impatience in Stockfish. Show me the fight. What are you doing over there? Nah, I'm not following player anymore. <laughs> You're looking at the wrong stuff. I want to see... I don't want to see the playing. I want to see the fighting. <laughs> oh, this temple. Oh, when that temple goes up. What are you going to do then? still ahead on population. Stockfish really hurting for uh, certain resources, like food. Is that upgrade? Where is the... I guess there isn't one left. I like this little zone. What's the ram doing in there? Yes, 
Hero versus hero up here. Yes, Steve. Versus 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 Jetterix. One of them's. Whoa! I only saw the man on the horse and not the horse. <laughs> Whoa, look at all those rocks. Okay. Put him. Has plenty of resources now. Pop cap? Yes. What's the actual pop cap of the game? Is it 200 or 300? Don't. Three rams? Three rams. Three rams can guarantee deck out of CC almost regardless of what's around it. <laughs> almost regardless. going to happen. Put him 40 ahead in population now. And quite a many experienced units. Skirmishers have spiky hair. Okay, straight into the Civic Center now, please. He only has one of them. If you destroy the Civic Center and the Fortress, you win. And it's just, it's right here, it's right there. Go, go forth and destroy. Taking a few houses while you're on the way. Okay. Mm -hmm. Why not while you're on the way? Has reason. Um, oop, there's that bug. Um. Okay. No upgrades here. Hmm. That's some upgrades. Yeah. Put him wins. Unit positioning and indecision. Not so good. Uh. Total. Macro build, very good. Poor micro, great macro. Whereas the opposite for stockfish. Great micro for stockfish, bad macro. Go for the CC. <laughs> the Pacific Center has been hit once, accidentally by the looks of it. Put him. Good game we'll play. Not much else that Stockfish could do here. Trying to build more houses so that uh, this whole being housed slash pop cap situation can go away. But, hmm. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Three 
stockfish rams. Ready to go. These are all fully upgraded and experienced. See if, did they get a surround on it? Then absolutely. Yeah. Oh, yes. Awesome. And those straight to the CC. Good. Okay. <laughs> base race! Base race! Base race! Base race! Base race! Who will win the race? The race of base. Civic Center. If, oh, if it can get taken over, that's that's where this changes. This <laughs> this isn't over. This is a pivotal little section here. Oh, oh, you, oh put him with the skills to pay all of every possible bill. Completely, that's just sealed the game. Nice seal. Nice seal. Uh, well played. Very well played. <laughs> Stockfish unable to do the same thing in reverse to the uh, Civic Center over here. Or perhaps, perhaps put him, destroyed it themselves. Oh, and another one. <laughs> Complete and total devastation. Just destruction. Annihilation. Stockfish was an annihilated in this game. Played really well. Just... Put in was playing the exact way that they needed to play in order to beat the way that Stockfish was playing. It just so happened that that's the way it happened. <laughs> Put him chucking down the sim center right here. <laughs> nice. Yes, yes. What are these guys doing? <laughs> Still didn't get stronger. <laughs> All right. Still didn't get iron plow. Mm. Oh, Zivs end up not, not today. The final battle. It's it's here. <laughs> Can't even build the thing. Yeah, GG. Uh, yeah. Okay. Put him. Wow. Both players playing so well. Very nice game. Put him ahead in economy the entire time and ahead in total at about, hmm, dear, between 15 and 20 minutes. Hmm. Oh, actually. 
Oh. Yeah. Stockfish with a better KDA. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. Mm. Better micro. You see, this is better micro. Whereas this is better macro. Mm. I hope you found that as interesting as I did. And I hope that you have a good day. You thought the video was going to end there, didn't you? Ah, uh, I tricked you. No. Um, go check out Valorant and Tom Zero AD for the other games in this series. They are cool. You should subscribe to them and like and comment and bell them until until they cannot take any more bells. I only, I only, I only ring their bells so much that like they get a Pavlovian response to a, a bell of, of some kind. And they're like, oh, what's that bell? What's that bell sound? Oh, it's giving me some kind of Pavlovian response. Anyway, I'm gonna go.